The holidays are here. You've bought your rib roast. You've Instagrammed every side you can think of. Desserts are in order. What could you be forgetting? The rolls. Well, not only has today's recipe got you covered, it'll have all your friends and family begging you to make these honey cardamom rolls until next Christmas. Roll the opening scene. Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. My name is Don, and if you're new to the channel, it's your lucky day. Today is our very first giveaway. MCK is now making custom shirt designs like this one that I'm giving away to one lucky winner. To enter, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, click like on this video, and leave a comment. I'm going to be picking the winner out of the comments just after the new year. And now, back to today's episode. Honey cardamom rolls. We all probably know what honey is, but what is cardamom? Cardamom is a spice that is used heavily in the Middle East, and it's quickly gaining in popularity around the world. It has a floral, spicy, fresh, clean sort of flavor to it, and it can be used in anything from curries to desserts. So let's spice up your holiday spread and work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Here we are yet again, thanks to Rod the camera guy. Now today's recipe couldn't be any more simple. In the bowl of my stand mixer, I already have the flour. To this, I'm going to just add the other ingredients, attach the dough hook and mix on medium speed for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, I'm going to cover it and let it rest on the counter for one hour. If you don't have a stand mixer, that's fine. Just knead it by hand until the dough is nice and smooth. And after a one hour rest, we're going to turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface and we're going to perform what are referred to as slap and folds. You're going to take one end of the dough, slap the other end down, fold it over. You'll then rotate it 90 degrees, do the same thing. Slap one end down, fold it over. Slap one end down, fold it over. We're only gonna do this about four times. Maybe five. That's gonna knock the excess air out of the dough and give it a little more strength and structure. Now we're going to put it back into the bowl, cover it, and let it set for one more hour. And after another hour rest, we're ready for shaping. Before we begin, you're going to lightly oil a nine and a half inch pie dish. I've already gone ahead and done this. After that, you're going to set that aside and you're going to turn out your dough on a lightly floured work surface and divide it into 10 80 gram portions. Once you have them all portioned, you're going to pre-shape. This is going to be the bottom. We're simply going to pull the end, tuck it in. Pull the edge, tuck it in. Pull the edge, tuck it in. You're going to pinch and secure them together, just like that. Just forming a loose ball. Set it aside. I'll show you one more time. Take the edges. Pull it in, take the edge, pull it in, all the way around. Pinching them together at the top. Repeat that with your remaining dough. Next, we're going to tighten them up a little bit. We're going to roll what is the top side, the side to the cutting board, in a little bit of flour. We need this to stick to the cutting board a little bit. We're going to cup our hand and put it over the dough ball. 
And then you're going to go in a circular motion, just like this. And that's going to roll the dough under itself, creating more surface tension on the top here. So you're going to cup it, pushing down slightly, rolling it around in your hand. It's barely sticking to the cutting board. I hope you can see that. And just like that, we went from this to this. Show you that again. Flour, what is the top? Flip it, cup your hand, roll it around, pushing gently. This is the only part of my hand touching the cutting board. And that's it. Do that with the remaining rolls. Now take your pie dish and we're going to arrange the rolls, eight around the outside, two in the center. Now cover them with a light tea cloth and let them rise for roughly two hours until they're nice and springy to the touch. In the meantime, we're going to make a honey glaze for the top of the rolls. This is not only going to make them super delicious, it is super easy to make. We're going to take 15 grams of honey and mix in five grams of water. We're going to brush this glaze on the rolls twice. Once 10 minutes before they go into the oven and again just before they go into the oven. Here we are after two hours I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 10 minutes ago, I applied the first layer of our honey glaze. Now we'll do one more coat and then we'll put them in the middle rack of the oven for 30 minutes, rotating once at the 15 minute mark. Then just let them cool and enjoy. That's it, the roll recipe that'll leave your guests wanting more. Now don't forget to have some fun in the kitchen. Switch this recipe up a little bit. Make a loaf of bread with it, some slider rolls. Get crazy. If you liked today's video and would like to make a donation to help keep these videos rolling, just log into Venmo and search at Maui Craft Kitchen and leave anything you would like to donate. I can't thank you all enough for your support and don't forget to enter the giveaway. Many mahalas and much aloha.